Uh, good morning, Thanos. Uh, this is the, uh, the motion platform here. I have the, uh, your AMC servo controller tied into servo number one for the initial testing of the, uh, the AASD30A controller units. Uh, I did uh, take your advice. I used a hub 3.0 off of the uh, computer driving this and um, eliminated the extension cable and uh, that seems to be reliable. So it's online right now talking to the BFF Six Degree of Freedom Motion software and that seems to be responding. So this is my uh, test setup for testing these, uh, these servo motors and cables and so on. This is the first one I'm testing. But um, I've got a piece of tape tied in here and uh, you can see the servo is oscillating just a tiny bit um, because the aircraft is uh, started, it's on the taxiway, it's in the drive mode, and it's uh, apparently getting some vibration there. So uh, this would be actuator one, which is this unit here. Uh, on the uh, servo controller I have tied into the, the EXT1 uh, a switch, which would be the micro switch, that when the lever comes down and uh, goes into the hold position or home position, it would encounter the micro switch and then apparently move back up to this drive position here. Um, by the way, this central box is the previous uh, AMC 1280 a USB controller in the VFD setup. So uh, the new system will probably uh, go inside that box for some additional shielding. So let me uh, put this in a taxi mode and then show you what it looks like. So I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, so I just, uh, just applied some power to the, uh, the aircraft here and then the, ta the uh, taxiway at San Diego. So I'm going to turn this around and show you what the servo is doing. So you can see the uh, taxi bumps uh, effect. So it is responding to the BFF6 uh, DOF uh, software uh, quite smoothly actually. I'm going to apply the parking brake. So that would be the front of actuator one dropping down and then it washes out and goes back to the drive position. So parking brake is off and the uh, aircraft will start to roll forward, apply a little bit of power. That was a slight acceleration and now it's getting the standard taxi bumps. Okay, so I'm going to get this in the air and show you what it looks like there. I'll pause it. Okay, got the aircraft off the ground. This is hard with uh, handling the camera and flying at the same time. Anyway, it's in the air. Um, one thing happened on initial takeoff. Um, the the uh, servo was moving so radically, I don't have it bolted down, and it almost fell off the platform here. So anyway, we're in flight and you can see the effect of uh, the servo uh, responding to the motion cues while it's in flight. Uh, this apparently has an awful lot of torque, so when it says go one way or the other, it moves very strongly. Um, well, I'll stop this video because I think you get the idea, but it is talking to the uh, BFF motion software. The uh, controller seems to be uh, working online. I'll go ahead and finish testing the other motors. I should point out one thing. I noticed that now the, uh, the uh, AASD30A servo controller is displaying some information. I don't know what mode this is in. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's uh, displaying amps. It might be position. Anyway, maybe you could comment on this. I haven't uh, said anything. So uh, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll give you a text later. So long.